You got both candidates scrambling for every vote in their final minute, both not slowing down. They're both targeting a rapidly growing block in the Latino community. Check out what Senator McCain said in Albuquerque just a day ago. Senator Obama has never been south of our border. Senator Obama does not understand these issues. I do. And I understand the future of this country. My friends, I'm proud to be of the West. Are the massive crowds joining Senator Obama in the Southwest causing the GOP to panic over the once reliable Hispanic vote? Here to tell us is Republican Senator Mel Martinez of Florida. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning, Gretchen. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So what do you make of the whole debate and battle over the Latino vote, specifically in Florida, where you are from? Because neck and neck, that's where we are right now in Florida. Florida is absolutely at that heat. I mean, we are neck and neck, which I think is good news for the McCain campaign. When you look at all the pundits' predictions that this thing is over, the fact of the matter is that in the key state of Florida, this thing is even. And in the last several days, uh, the McCain uh, camp has moved even. We were behind. Uh, the, the Florida Hispanic vote is still uh, voting in majority for McCain. The recent polls that I've seen show a majority of Florida Hispanics voting for McCain, which I think is a good thing. It's a good sign. I think that quote you had of Senator McCain is very telling. Barack Obama is against a free trader agreement with Colombia, uh, misunderstanding our important relationship with that key ally in that region. Uh, he's never traveled in the region. He doesn't know much about it. And uh, that is very, very important to Hispanics, not only in Florida, but across the country, because uh, the, most of us as immigrants to this nation, we still care about what we left, uh, what, what we left behind. And so having someone at the White House who cares about the region, who understands it, I think is of importance. Right. So do you think this race is yet to be won right now? Do you think it's going to be won or lost in the next nine days? Do you think? And oh, do you Brian, think absolutely. That, go ahead. Well, no, there's so much yet to be discussed. I mean, obviously, uh, I would love for Joe Biden to ask uh, Barbara West's questions, by the way. He didn't answer. <laughs> but that's, I mean, Barbara West, by the way, one of the most respected local reporters. I've known her for 20 years in this community. He's, uh, she's very well thought of. And, and he really should answer the question about wealth redistribution. That is something that I think speaks to Floridians. I think Floridians, uh, you know, like most Americans, want to be fair with people, want to make sure that, that our country looks out after everyone. Right. However, uh, uh, wealth redistribution doesn't sit well, and that's just one of many issues that I think are still being discussed and fleshed out. Senator, I wanted to get your opinion on how that interview played out in Florida, since that is where you are a senator. We're up here in New York. We're just hearing about it. But, but how did it play out to Floridians? Well, it was, it was in the local news only in the Orlando market, which is a very important market because it's in the I-4 corridor. And I think what it left all of us is wondering why didn't he answer the question. I also thought, by the way, we saw a little bit of the arrogance uh, of Joe Biden in, in suggesting to her, you know, where did you get that question or whatever, who wrote it for you? I mean, that, that really was a bit disrespectful. I wish he had just focused on trying to give an answer. The American people ought to know where they're going to take the country, uh, whether, in fact, uh, Barney Frank is correct, as you quoted a bit ago, that they're going to cut the military by a quarter, the budget, right. at a time of war. You know, there's so many things that are yet unanswered, and I think uh, this is a late-breaking campaign, a late-breaking election. Gotcha. And so I'm yep. focused on Florida. We're going to win Florida. Senator Martinez, nice talking to you today. Good luck. Thank you, Brian. All right, straight